Global grain prices, as I think we all know, have spiked this week, threatening to undo the hard-won progress achieved over the past year. And this potentially threatens hunger and worse for millions of people. Wheat and corn futures, and I'm quoting from the World Food Programme, have risen by almost 9% and 8% respectively on Wednesday. Wednesday saw the largest single day increase in wheat prices since the full-scale invasion commenced. And this is not surprising. This was predicted and it happened. Much of the world relies on the affordability of these staples, which is under threat yet again. Higher prices, of course, will be most acutely felt by families in developing countries already at risk. We have all been so deep in the weeds in this project for so long, and therefore this week has been a week of sadness and disappointment. But for many of those 362 million people, it's not a matter of sadness or disappointment. It's a matter of threat to their future and the future of their children and their families. They're not sad, they're angry, they're worried, they're concerned. Some will go hungry, some will starve, many may die as a result of these decisions. And we implore this council and the world beyond it to help to make every effort to restore the spirit, what the Secretary General at the time referred to as the beacon of hope that those two agreements represented for all of us in a world of such difficulty and tragedy.